Hello everyone, welcome to a, another video, this time with a very special addition to our collection. We have added another format to the collection, one that I've been looking to add for a very long time, Betamax. I grew up in a VHS household and just about all my friends had VHS, like that was the thing. Betamax I knew about and was kind of around when I was very, very little, but by the time I even hit elementary school age in the beginning of the 90s, it was pretty much gone. It was just something that I knew had existed and didn't have much experience with. But because I nostalgically really love VHS and still use them frequently, I've always been interested in a very close counterpart, one of its you know, main competitors in the 80s, Betamax. And also because I am a huge fan of the 80s, it is my favorite decade by far because that's what I grew up with. Even though I grew up in the 90s and watching things as they came out, all the reruns I watched of things on TV, all the movies that I wanted to rent, um, even a lot of the video games that I would rent from old like DJ video and things when I was little, it was all 80s stuff. Like that was the things from the past that were immediately accessible for me. So I fell in love with that decade. And even though Beta came out at the very end of the 70s, and thanks to blank tapes, Sony was actually supporting it into the early 2000s, is definitely a overall like a primarily 80s format. That was really what I think of when I think of the 80s. I think of Laserdisc, and even though it was it's definitely better in the night once it got to the 90s, I really think of Laserdisc and Beta as like really very they have an 80s vibe for me. I've always wanted to get into Beta, and you'll see I finally got my hands on a player. I'll show you a little bit about the, the player here. So quite a few years ago, about four or five years ago, I found a handful of beta tapes. And it was a format I know I always eventually wanted to get into, but we were always looking for just a cheap starter player at a thrift store. And I've never run into one, even to this day. This player we finally got, we finally broke down and got one off of eBay, because we've never even seen a broken player at a thrift store, let alone a working one. Never seen one, and rarely ran into, into tapes. Um, every single tape that I had to have in this video is it took five years to get them and half of them were from when I bought this player. Uh, eventually we, you know, we just hit this point where we decided you know, it's a format I want to get into and we found this player online that was like, everything that I wanted. It was a type of player I was looking for. It had to be Sony. Like there was no, I wasn't going to get anything else. It was exactly what I wanted. It looked exactly like what I wanted to use. And it came with a whole bunch of tapes too and was a decent price. Uh, we're looking at thrift stores primarily because we wanted to save that shipping cost and uh, we usually try and, and get a lot of our collections that way rather than paying you know, eBay prices and crazy shipping because it's a heavy, it's, it's a beast, it's heavy. Uh, it's definitely the heaviest player we have up here in the bedroom with the smaller CRT which is usually what I use for VHS and beta and have things like Laserdisc and Blu-ray and HD DVD and stuff on the big projector now, downstairs. Uh, so we got that player, finally, and I'm super excited. Super excited. I've been watching through all my tapes, really enjoying the format. So we're going to look through the beta tapes that I have so far, first starting with all the ones that came with the player that I've been you know, going through. And some of these are ones I'm going to keep for the collection. There's a couple that aren't really in good condition, and a few that I just don't want that we'll either sell on or see what we're going to do with them. But overall then, then we'll go through the uh, collection tapes I already did have. And then I also bought a few more because I almost have all the beta tapes that I want. It's one that's I don't, because I grew up in a VHS household, I don't have that same nostalgic attachment and it's not going to be a main format for me, like Laserdisc, which is just, I watch those all the time and I love that format. It's more of a curiosity that I really am going to enjoy, so I'm not going to have a massive collection, but I already have a pretty uh, big stack here. So when I got my player, it came with a whole bunch of movies, it came out with Top Gun. Spring Break, Scarface, we have Lawrence of Arabia, and the Molly Maguires, I do not know what this movie is, have not seen it before, uh, I haven't checked it out yet, but I really want to, it's Sean Connery in it, so I'm going to check that one out. 
We have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Great Disney movie. I had not seen this since I was a very, very small boy on VHS. Like, I, it, I was maybe like five years old, so I barely remembered it. And it was great till I watched this again a couple nights ago on beta. It was great to re-experience it. So, fantastic movie. Also got um, Disney's Alice in Wonderland. Which, this one, I don't know what it is with this Alice in Wonderland, this Disney one. I keep finding it on bizarre formats. Like, this is the only Disney movie we own on CED. I just happen to run into it randomly, and then when I get my beta player, I get Alice in Wonderland. It just, I seem to find that on, um, you know, just older formats. Battlestar Galactica. Love the 70s Battlestar Galactica. The remake is fantastic, but very, very different. Uh, and I really like the original. So this is really cool. This is the you know, movie version of the first few episodes of the, you know, the premiere of the 70s series. We have more 80s classic Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. Um, and speaking of the 80s, because that's kind of the decade I associate the format with, and because it's not like you know, a type of format I don't want to collect hundreds of tapes for. It's not like, you know, again, like Laserdisc or, you know, VHS or whatever. Um, my focus for this is a handful of favorite movies, some, you know, timeless classics that I really enjoy that Amanda got for me years ago for the format at Christmas time, and then a lot of 80s movies. Uh, that's really been my focus on that. So I have most of what I want already. Uh, we have A Change of Seasons. I haven't checked this one out yet. The cover's pretty beat up. Again, this came with the player, but I'll check that out. Trading Places. Kiss Me Goodbye, Elvis Presley, Jailhouse Rock, and then my two favorites in the bunch, I watched these back to back right away, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. Absolutely love these movies, some of my all time favorites. And so I watched these on beta, and then right after after that, I went downstairs and grabbed the uh, laser disc of the last crusade, the uh, no, the Blu-ray of the Last Crusade, and watched that. And it also came with two pre-recorded tapes. Uh, this one was a football game, whatever. Uh, they ran a football game, but it was in pretty good condition. And it was cool because when it opened, they you know started recording a few minutes beforehand. There were some cool commercials of you know coming up next on home improvement, and I actually enjoyed watching the commercials. And then once I got to football, I was done with it. Uh, this one is pretty much not in working order. This is the Elvis Presley one. And it was it had a lot of tracking issues and was pretty much dead but otherwise all the tapes were in working order even the ones I have kind of beat up covers the only ones I haven't checked out yet uh, change of seasons just like two or three I haven't watched yet but this all came with the player so that was a great deal now we're gonna look at what I already had for the format because I had a bunch of tapes because I had collected a few over the years that I'd found knowing eventually I wanted a player and one year I forgot how many years ago it was Amanda found it one time a goodwill just a stack of tapes uh, a bunch that I didn't want that we sold on many years ago when we started with eBay and then a bunch that I've kept I mean she just found so many at one time that's like the bulk of what he had beforehand we have this big box version of A Star is Born with Judy Garland which is my favorite version of this film by far you have the original and then you have yeah, Judy Garland, and then you move on to Barbara Streisand, and then the newer one, which I haven't even seen, but uh, yeah, so that's a great addition there. Police Academy 2. We found one volume of the original Star Trek. Uh, the original Star Trek, I'll mention this here because this reminds me of it, is super easy to find on beta. Same thing with beta and VHS, the original Star Trek is plentiful. You will find them. Uh, the only one, I mentioned that because one of the few things I'm actually still looking for on the format. There's actually only four tapes I'm looking for still before I'm pretty much done with beta. I have what I want on it. And one of those four is any volume. I don't even care what it is, as long as it's working, any volume of the next generation. Because while the original series, you can find, you know, lots of three tapes for ten bucks, you know, on beta. Very easy to find. Only the first season and a little bit of the second season of the next generation was released on beta. Uh, so they're and they're much lower print runs, so they're much harder to find. Uh, they're, I saw one and I missed it on eBay not that long ago, and so they don't go for a lot. They're just really hard to find because there weren't that many. And I feel like a lot of people that bought them back in the day, that's, they're kind of collectible. So that's going to be hard to find, but the, all missing is any episode of TNG. That's all I want. I don't care what one it is. There's one volume of TNG on beta and the original Star Wars trilogy. Those are the only four tapes that I'm missing so far before I have everything that I want. Uh, E.T., one of my favorite movies of the 80s. Love E.T. Just fantastic E.T. I have just about on every format. Um, you know, VHS, Beta, VHD, uh, DVD, you know, I have just about everything. And I already had a copy of Beverly Hills Cop. 
on beta, I have to watch this and see which one's in better condition. Either the one I got with the player, the one I already had, and uh, the other one will, will move on, but we'll see which one I have in better condition. More Judy Garland, we have the Wizard of Oz. Pinocchio. Some more Disney with Peter Pan. And if you have Disney, you could also have some Don Bluth, an American Tale. Return to Oz. My favorite comedy of all time, and my favorite movie with my favorite actor. So this movie is right up there. It's in my top five ever of movies. We have A Shot in the Dark with Peter Sellers and Elka Summer. By far my favorite comedy movie of all time. Peter Sellers is my favorite actor. This is my favorite movie of his. I mean, the best Pink Panther movie, just fantastic. Love this movie so much. We have Abbott and Costello, Africa Screams, Crocodile Dundee, keeping with the 80s trend. Uh, we have The Woman in Red. This is really funny. Gene, with uh, Gene Wilder, amazing and everything he's in. The 80s Annie, which for me, this is like the only Annie. This is the one that I love. Yeah, the 90s one was pretty good. Uh, the more modern one was an interesting, more modernized take, but overall this, I love this 80s Annie. I grew up with that, and just uh, that's one like I could sing any song for that movie, The Drop of a Hat. Teen Wolf. 48 Hours. Great movie with a very mediocre sequel, but the first one, great movie. We had, we had one blank tape that we found that is truly blank, nothing was ever recorded on it, and I have to decide what am I going to put on this tape, because I'm not just going to leave it blank forever, of course, I'm going to use it, I'm going to record something and watch it, but what am I going to put on my singular blank tape, because I really don't, you know, I, I collect uh, you know, a bunch of stuff on like VHS I record, or you know, uh, recordable DVDs or whatever, but this is probably going to be the only thing I have for beta that I record something on, so what am I going to put on here, I don't know, I have to decide. Because it seems to be in like perfect working order, so I'm going to have to find something. Uh, and one that I have to decide whether or not I'm ever going to open it, because it is, I have one completely sealed beta tape. And it's a movie I have on multiple other formats, so I don't really need to open it to watch it, but I don't really like just having things to have them. I want to use them. I want them to, you know, be experienced. So, I don't know. I haven't decided quite yet, but Barbarella. Great, great movie. One of my favorite cult classics, one of my favorite, you know, B-movies. Jane Fonda is fantastic in this. I mean, the opening to Barbarella, you just put that thing on repeat for a while. <laughs> just, it's just a great movie. It's funny, it's interesting, it's exciting. It's just, it's such a product of its time. It really is one of those movies where you could say, this is a product of its time. And it, you can tell, like, when it was made. Uh, it just feels like that era. And just, yeah, Barbarella is a great movie. So that's what I had beforehand. And then, uh, again, as I said, after getting that lot and what I had beforehand, I was so close to getting everything I wanted for beta. I have a list for every format of like, these are releases that I want, especially older formats that you know haven't produced anything new in decades. You can do that pretty definitively for a lot of them, uh, unless it's Laserdisc where it's just endless and there's so many that I don't even know are out there that are out there. For beta, I knew what I wanted, so I found a bunch that, uh, once I got the player, pretty really, really cheap and brought them in, so now I'm down to those four harder to find tapes. Well, Star Trek's hard to find, Star Wars are just expensive. But now I'm down to those four because I bought a couple here. First up is continuing the 80s trend, Weird Science. There are a bunch of favorite 80s movies that I like having on older formats. There's a bunch of Laserdisc already, a few that I definitely want the Laserdisc uh, rather than the beta. But Weird Science, I wanted to grab that on beta. I'm going to check that out. This just came today. And then my favorite Star Trek movie, so my favorite movie and my favorite franchise ever, The Wrath of Khan. Just, uh, I can watch this movie endlessly. I've probably seen this more than just about any, any other movie. I think like this, The Wizard of Oz, you know, The Goonies, I think there's those are like the ones I've seen more than anything, and the Pink Panther movies. And then I grabbed two TV releases, because I really enjoy uh, collecting a lot of older TV shows. I probably watch more older TV as far as like by how frequently I watch things than movies even, just because Sometimes you get home from a long day of work, by the time you eat dinner and everything, 
you're gonna go to bed in an hour. You're not gonna stay up and watch a movie, maybe watch an episode or two of a TV show. So I wanted to get some older favorites I know were on the format. So I got the collector's edition, one of the volumes of these Columbia House releases of I Love Lucy. One of my absolute favorite shows, just it's one that never gets old for me. And this, um, from the CBS Video Library, this is the same as a lot of those later releases of MASH and Beverly Hillbillies, a bunch of those other ones, the Columbia House ones of VHS later on, where they grouped it more by theme rather than releasing every episode in order. Uh, so this one's more about, you know, Lucy wants to be a star. So it has, um, it had the three episodes on here. The first one is Lucy does a TV commercial from season one, and as Lucy gets into pictures from season four, and then Lucy's Italian movie from season five, uh, the one with the uh, grape stomping scene or whatever. So it really, I think by theme, if you already you know, own the whole series, like DVD or whatever, it's actually kind of a cool way to just sit and watch for an hour, hour and a half of one of your favorite shows. So you have this here. Open it up, it even has a little pamphlet in there and the tape. Uh, it's in great order, I watched this as soon as I got it. So it's in fantastic condition. Wanted to grab that. And then while the movie MASH is on just about everything, it's on beta, uh, MASH until VHS, the only thing that was really released on any kind of like home video format was the finale. Uh, Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen. That was released, I think, simultaneously. I'm not sure if it was simultaneously, but it was released either simultaneously or really close together on CED, Laserdisc, VHS and beta. It was released on like everything, but it was a little bit after that when they finally started releasing the episodes on home video. But I had to get it because it was the only th part of MASH on the format. This is one of you know my two favorite shows of all time. Um, this and Star Trek Deep Space Nine are like, pretty much tied as my favorite shows ever. Uh, probably over the years, those are the two. That, if I had to pick a show that I probably watch more than any other, it'd be MASH. Uh, I just ever since I was a little kid watching reruns weekday nights all the time just and watching them on VHS and DVD it just MASH is incredible it's timeless it's a series that I felt just went through its changes of tone and cast changes perfectly it was never jarring it just kind of rolled effortlessly and evolved over time it just from start to finish this is probably the only TV series that I would say is pretty close to perfect um, I, just, I love MASH, and this is this finale is not only, this is my favorite ending to a series ever. Uh, ending a TV series, especially a long-running one, is very difficult, and is always going to get mixed reception. Um, and there are some that it's like, wow, that was a terrible way to end the series. Other ones, it was just a jarring end if they didn't know the end was coming or that you know, it was canceled. And some are really good, but are maybe missing a few elements that just weren't quite there. To me, this is my favorite ending to a series ever. This might be my favorite episode of television ever. I just, uh, ever since I was a kid, every time I saw this, it turned me into just a crying mess. And it still does. It's it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. Uh, so I had to grab this on beta since it was released on the format. I'm going to open it up here. It slides out. So I got that there. But yeah, I want to check this out, but I have to be in the right mood and have enough time and I knew, because I know it's going to make me an emotional wreck, so it's not a, not one I can watch you know, just any old night. Uh, but yeah, so that is my collection. I'm excited to have a really great, high-quality working player. Uh, I'm just having a blast going through all these and just watching maybe like one or two, you know, on a Saturday night once or twice during the week, just eventually working my way through them and just enjoying every second of it and finally having... A working player after so many years of searching and having tapes already just sitting there for the format it's great to add another format to the collection um, I just about of every format that I want already like a working player for almost every format so this is fantastic and this was a big one and beta is one of the was a, one of the main formats it's not like a niche thing that you know was out for a very short period of time it's not the you know, it's not the Telefunken Ted from Germany or something like that um, it, so Great. I, I'm so happy I finally added this, and I'm loving it. This is my collection so far. Uh, and yeah, I'm down to four tapes that I want for this particular collection, so uh, fantastic. This is awesome.